What's up gamers and collectors, DGC back with another pickups video. Not too much stuff this time, so hopefully we'll keep it short. Let's jump to it. Alright guys, so I never know if you actually like the pickups videos, so if you do, be sure to let me know in the form of a like down below, and if you're not subscribed, be sure to go ahead and do so for me. And uh, let's jump into this stuff. So I'm going to start out with some oddball stuff that's gaming related, but not actual games. Um, so if you are subscribed to the channel, uh, a few months ago I picked up a decent GBA lot of games and a Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance itself was a Glacier one. It was in very good condition. So I still have the shell and all the buttons and stuff. However, I've always wanted to customize a Game Boy Advance. So I finally did so, and I got the this shell off of uh, Amazon. I got these buttons off of Amazon and a new lens as they call it which is the plastic screen basically over the actual screen. So this is like a seafoam green and it gl it's glow in the dark and then I did I opted for black buttons everywhere and then I did a new um, it's a glass uh, lens on there. I'm gonna try to do the uh, IPS screen mod eventually and then also I forget the name of the company but they have a actual rechargeable battery that they make specifically for this Game Boy Advance that fits in here and then you can recharge and I think it's an eight hour, eight hour battery which is pretty damn good in my opinion good enough for me um, so I'm very excited to do that in my opinion this is probably the best Game Boy to ever have existed because of the shape and the size and it's the perfect you know uh, it's just the best one um, I opted for this color, however, the other option was going to be to do an all black one. I think that would have looked kind of cool too, but I don't know. And the funny thing is, with this glow in the dark shell, I saw mixed reviews on it. It does glow in the dark very well, however, you need to leave it near a light and then it like absorbs the light. And then when you turn, like when I go to bed sometimes, if it's near my light, it'll like absorb it basically. And then that night it'll be extra bright versus other nights if it's behind me back here, not near the lights, then it'll be kind of dark and faded. But So I picked that up and this actually should have been in the last pickups video, but I assembled this after recording that. So I've had this for quite a while at this point. Um, HD Retrovision. Uh, I follow them on Twitter. They post stock of things that they have pretty periodically. So they um, tweeted out that they, um, they're probably not going to make these anymore. And by probably, I'm pretty sure they said they're done making them. This is the Neo Geo um, cable from the Genesis Model 2. This is still sealed. I don't have a Neo Geo. However, it is on my bucket list to eventually own one. So when I do own one, I'm going to want to play it with RGB and or component, which is the same thing. Um, however, I'm going to keep it sealed just in case I don't. And then this is still sealed in the package if I ever do want to sell it but this was only like 30 bucks I was like you know what one day if I get a new I'm gonna regret not buying this since these are now not being produced anymore so I'm kinda of glad that I did so I grabbed that um, then I also picked up the Richter and then the Dark Suit Samus by far the best looking amiibo ever right here I tweeted a picture of this the other day um, by far the coolest looking amiibo with the with the paint and the way it shines and the, the 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 detail of this just with it just a, a really good looking amiibo i don't know how it could be done but somehow if they could get the visor like if someone could like somehow jam an led up into here somehow and have like the visor light up i think like on this and the normal samus i think that'd be so badass and then like even one in the tip of the gun that'd be sweet It'd be very difficult to do, but it, it could be done if you had enough patience and skill. Um, all right, so let's see here. This came with what? Oh, this did come with it. All right, so we'll jump into this one. Now, if you recall, in the last pickups video, I mentioned that I was going to be trying to buy not that many games. And more specifically, Alex, you said you were only going to buy 12 games. So that didn't. I didn't technically break the 12 yet. However, pretty close to it already. Uh, I am doing way better on not buying as many games, so pretty good. Uh, as far as new releases, there only is actually, I guess, two here, technically, that are new. Uh, so we got this one. I ordered the Deadly Premonitions Origins Collector's Edition, and I got this from uh, Arx Games, so that's like the people that published it. If you ordered it through them, you got the bonus Greenville map included. That's the only place to have gotten that. This comes with a pin set and the game and then the map. 
And then for whatever weird reason, they included a soundtrack to Muramasa, which is really cool because Muramasa is badass. That's on the Vita and the Wii. Um, so really cool to have got a free soundtrack. Don't really know why, but I'm totally cool with that. Now, uh, this one's more of a upgrade than an actual purchase. Uh, his name's JP Switch Mania on Twitter. Uh, big account, I believe he runs uh, Switch Corpse, or he's one of like co-founders or whatever. Uh, he randomly started posting that he was selling off games, and uh, this is a PS4 version of the Limited Super Hydra. I had the normal version, and I've always wanted this one. He sold it to me at cost, and that was very awesome. It was $62, $62 shipped, still sealed. I'm going to open this because I actually listed my copy on eBay and got rid of it. Uh, I kept my cards. The card will go with this since he didn't ship the card. Um, so yeah, I've, this is one of the last limiteds that I needed, or wanted, rather. Um, I'm going for the full PSVR, or, ugh, full PSVR set and also the full PS4 shoot 'em up collection. And if there's a limited for those PS4 shmups, then I want to own the limited. Uh, so here's that. So big shout out to him for hooking. Well, he's just giving everybody good deals, not just me, but uh, good on him for not ripping off the community and really just being a good part of the community. So good on him. Uh, PS4 stuff. We got two more here, or three more actually, and actually really kind of five because this is a collection. So this is one of the new games that I actually bought. So Deadly Premonition, new for Switch at least, and then Yakuza Collection, new for PS4 because this was all three of these were on the PS3. Um, I, if you don't know this, I really fell in love with the Yakuza franchise not too long ago, and I'm really grateful that they finally brought 3, 4, and 5 over here. So, if I start to post less and less videos, it's because I'm, like, deep into Yakuza, and just giving you a heads up that I'm really just trying to finish this series off. I still need to buy 6, but I told myself I'm going to get the limited edition for 6 after I finish all these, just because I really love the franchise, and, um... But I'm not going to buy it until I fun, you know, finish 3, 4, and 5. Then I'm going to buy 6, then 7, and then I still actually need to play Judgment. Or is it ju yeah, Judgment, and then I think it's Judge I in Japan. But either way, uh, cannot wait to jump into these. However, I did start 3, and I played it for about an hour just to get into the game to the first like save point because get past all the tutorial bullshit. I'm very close to finally finishing Dragon Quest XI. I started that the day it came out. I picked it up. Loving the game. There's a lot of... If you've beaten the game... The boss where you fight your um, the master on top of the island, no spoilers. Uh, you'll know who I'm talking about if you've beat the game. Such an easy fight once you figure out how to do it, but like until you do, uh, such an annoying fight. But either way, uh, so I'm almost done that. Then I'm going to jump into these and then other PS4 games. Um, so I actually, I hope that's not the disc. Uh-uh. This was sealed, but now we got to open that and figure out what that is. This is Secret of Mana for the PS4. If you've been subbed long enough, Alex, you used to have it. I did, traded it in at too many games, and then I rebought this sealed for $14 on eBay. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to buy that again. Oh, that was totally the game, jingling around. Awesome. I really hate that these PS4 games do that. Um, very, very obnoxious. And, they, and Sony is known about that problem, but yet they did nothing to fix that up after all these years. Um, so Secret of Mana... I uh, definitely want to jump into that and beat that this time. And then this is a, another limited run game. This is uh, Tokyo Chronos for the PSVR. I think this is a what they call visual novel game. Yeah. Um, so this is limited. Uh, this is the VR number 11 release. I do have... I'm missing uh, Polybus, or Polybus, which is the limited run 10 release. I missed that one by like 30 minutes. Uh, so if anyone happens to have two of those, definitely hook your boy up. I'll obviously buy it or trade for it. Um, I'm missing that one, and I really would like to get that because need it for the full PSVR set. All right, so we're down to three games here. I'm going to save this juicy one for last here. Hopefully good old Dan from Rebel Gaming Club sees this last one because he's going he's gonna to be a little jealous, and there might be a little, little trade action that needs to happen between him and I. Um, so... As many of you know, uh, I'm doing the Xbox exclusive set, and then at some point I want to do a, uh, down there's my 360s exclusives, because that's all I really own for the 360. Uh, I'm going for all those, so I really want to do a um, videos on that as well, once, whenever that, you know, whenever I get time to do that. But here's two more, so sneak peek on these. These are uh, both pretty uncommon. This first one, 
a little more so than the second one. This is a uh, Spectral Force Three. This is a uh, strategy grid-based tactics RPG type thing. Um, sort of similar to like um, Shining Force and or like uh, Fire Emblem kind of type thing. More so new Fire Emblems versus the older ones. But uh, haven't actually had a chance to try it yet. However, tracking down a nice mint copy of this was difficult. And then I actually, since I've been trying to not buy games, and then I was trying to limit myself to 12 games. However, what I'm kind of making an amendment to that. I'm going to try to limit it to 12 new games this year and then just not buy as many retro games or old games at all this year. Well, not at all, but not as many. Um, so, to be fair, some of these I've had since before Christmas. I just haven't made a pick of videos since before Christmas. So we're already middle of February by the time you're watching this. So I'm actually doing fairly well. You know, if you've been subscribed long enough, doing pretty well in pickups as, as far as I go. But, um, so I actually ended up paying like $8 shit for this. And this is a mint copy. Uh, I ended up winning the bid because nobody's really looking for 360 stuff and or 360 exclusives right now. So very happy to have finally grabbed a copy of this for a very good price. Uh, it is it is CIB. Everything I get has to be CIB and in pretty good shape for me to want to own it. Now this next one here, this. Whew, this one took some time to finally get the exact copy that I wanted in the condition that I wanted it. This is uh, Cold Sept Saga, which is also a 360 exclusive. Now, this is, um, it comes with this huge manual, right? So most of the time, whenever I see it, it's always jacked up. That's a thick manual if you can't see that. And then also, when you pre-ordered this ahead of time, um, this was back when like GameStop used to give out actual cool stuff. They gave out this uh, strategy guide for the game. Like They would give you this after you pre-ordered it, not with the game. So that was the only way to actually get this little mini strategy guide. Is it uh, necessary to have? No, but like the fact that I knew it existed meant that like I had to try to track that down and get it into the collection. Um, so yeah, grab those two. Definitely grateful to grab that. So this one is a... Um, I have Cold Set um, Revolt, I think it's called. Yeah, Cold Set Revolt for the 3DS. And I played it for a good bit. I couldn't get into that one. I don't know why. I, I can't really recall because that came out quite a few years ago at this point. Um, but I think that on a console, I might be able to get into this more. And I've, I've, just the fact that I've wanted this one for so long, I think I might be able to delve into this one and really enjoy it. But uh, there's that one. And the last game here. This is the one that uh, good old Dan from Rebel Gaming Club. He has uh, basically a full Wii set. He's missing seven or eight games, I think, maybe less at this point. Uh, and one of the ones that he said he needed, ironically, is a game that I recently added to my collection when I saw that it was a shoot 'em up for the Wii, because I'm going for a full Wii shoot 'em up collection as well, which is not actually that many games. I think it's seven or eight shoot 'em ups. Um, and this is one of them. And this is incredibly rare. Uh, evidently, one of the more rare games for the Wii. I had no idea, because Dan doesn't even have it yet. This is Veggie World for the Wii. And, uh,. The <laughs> So this is by Virtual Play Games, and they are a subsidiary of Maximum Games. Um, well, actually, hold on. Virtual Play Games is a subsidiary of Maximum Family Games, which is a subsidiary of Maximum Games. So it's like a lot of like, kind of like, uh, what was that Ultra thing called from Konami? Ultra something for the NES, where they couldn't make that many NES games a year, so they had to get a bunch of different companies going. But either way. Uh, so this is a shoot 'em up for the Wii. I had no idea this was like ultra rare until like Dan mentioned that he needed it in one of his pickup videos, and I was like, damn, he's got a full Wii set and doesn't even have this. Then this must be pretty damn rare. Uh, so I actually did get a very good price on this, and I'm very glad to have added this to the collection. It's in very good condition, um, but it's a shoot 'em up, so I had to, I had to grab it because I really love shoot 'em ups. This is a really goofy one too because it's like a it's 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 about veggies if you couldn't guess. And um, very, very goofy game. Let's check out some gameplay of this one here. Yeah, so that's Veggie World. Um, very weird game. If you ever see this, it's. I don't like to name prices, so I'm not going to. You can look it up on your own. But uh, if you ever happen to see this, definitely grab it. I guarantee you this is a game that people see rarely but then when they do they're like man that's not worth shit i'm just gonna pass up on that but there's the cover of that if you ever see that in the wild this is worth um 
let's just say there wouldn't be many consoles you couldn't buy with the amount of money that these typically go for on eBay. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Um, so that's it for the games. Really not too much. I'm, I'm definitely um, trying to stick to my lower end um, purchasing of games this year. Um, next, uh, so March, all I plan on buying is Animal Crossing. Um, and then really that's that's it. So I, I think... Uh, who knows, maybe I might not do another pickups video. I don't typically do it till there's about maybe 10 or so games. And then, um, so who knows, it might be the end of summer by the time you see another pickups video. We'll see, because other than, so you got Animal Crossing, and then Yakuza I was excited for. Uh, Cyberpunk looks cool. Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I guess Halo. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's really all I can think of off the top of my head. That's only like six games. Um, not really much else is appealing to me, at least the, yet. But I know with Yakuza and Animal Crossing, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm straight addicted to those. I, I already know I'm going to be. And then, uh, as far as a PC game pickup, which I didn't actually pay for, my my buddy bought it for me, and I'm straight addicted to it. Escape from Tarkov, amazing game. I'm straight addicted to that game. Him and I basically play it five, six, seven days a week now. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if that's something you guys would be interested in me streaming. I know that's not a console game, and this is kind of a console gaming channel, so to speak, but it's still a video game in general, so if you want to see me stream that occasionally and watch me pwn some noobs and get pwned and become a noob, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments below, because I love playing some Dark Off. It's just a really hardcore FPS, fun, enjoyable game that, um really took me by surprise and it's still in beta and it's still it's just amazing and the fact that it's still in beta and that good is um, is crazy the game exploded they were at like 10k and now they're up to like 100k on average current concurrent players so that's that's big growth in a matter of a couple of months so definitely cool I've had it for about I guess probably about a month now at this point but uh, that's gonna do it for the video guys be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video hit the dislike button if this is not the kind of content you like if you're not subscribed, be sure to do so. And as always, peace out for now. Till next time, guys. Come here, you mother. I'm mother. <laughs>